He is known for refraining from publishing his philosophical views and instead circulating private pamphlets known as dictata. He is recognized for his advocacy of direct realism and his influential posthumous collected papers, statement and inference. His name is John Cook Wilson. In the realm of British idealism, there emerged a philosopher named John Cook Wilson. He possessed a keen intellect and a deep understanding of philosophy, but he held a unique perspective on the dissemination of his ideas. Refraining from publishing his philosophical views, he instead chose to circulate private pamphlets known as dictata among a select few. It was a conscious decision, driven by his belief that, the letter killeth, and it is extraordinary how it will prevent the acutest from exercising their wanted clearness of vision. Cook Wilson's approach to philosophy was rooted in direct realism, a philosophical stance that he ardently championed. His posthumously assembled volumes of statement and inference, meticulously compiled by his student A. S. L. Farquharson, became influential texts for a generation of Oxford philosophers. The impact of his work extended to the likes of H. H. Price, Gilbert Ryle, J. L. Austin, John McDowell, and Timothy Williamson, all of whom found inspiration in his collected papers. Beyond his philosophical contributions, Cook Wilson engaged in spirited debates and discussions on matters of spirituality. He posed a thought-provoking question, asking, we don't want merely inferred friends, could we be satisfied with an inferred God? This inquiry reflected his belief that the existence of God should not be a mere inference but rather an experiential reality. Throughout his philosophical journey, Cook Wilson found himself embroiled in a captivating dispute with the renowned Lewis Carroll over the barbershop paradox. This intellectual clash added an intriguing layer to his legacy, leaving an indelible mark on the philosophical landscape. John Cook Wilson, a renowned philosopher, was born in Nottingham, England, in 1849. With a strong academic background, he excelled in his studies at Derby Grammar School and later received a scholarship to Balliol College. There, he immersed himself in the study of both classics and mathematics, graduating with exceptional achievements. After completing his education, Cook Wilson embarked on a remarkable career in academia. He became a fellow of Oriel College, Oxford in 1873, and later assumed the prestigious position of Wycombe Professor of Logic in 1889. His inaugural lecture, titled On an Evolutionist Theory of the Axioms, showcased his indebtedness to influential thinkers such as Green and Lotze. Although Cook Wilson's scholarly pursuits primarily focused on classics and mathematics, his contributions to philosophy were significant. He delved into the depths of logic and reasoning, exploring intricate concepts that transcended traditional disciplinary boundaries. Throughout his life, Cook Wilson's work was characterized by a deep intellectual curiosity and a desire to understand the fundamental nature of reality. His philosophical journey led him to embrace the teachings of notable thinkers like Green and Lotze, who influenced his thinking on various subjects. Cook Wilson's intellectual pursuits were not limited to academia alone. He sought to bridge the gap between different disciplines, drawing inspiration from diverse sources to shape his own unique philosophical perspective. His dedication to exploring the intricacies of logic and reason made him a pioneering figure in the field. Today, the legacy of John Cook Wilson's philosophy continues to resonate in our daily lives. His emphasis on critical thinking and a multidisciplinary approach serves as a guiding light, encouraging us to question the world around us and seek answers beyond conventional boundaries. Cook Wilson's contributions remind us of the importance of intellectual curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge in our quest for understanding. John Cook Wilson, a renowned philosopher and scholar, dedicated his life not only to the pursuit of philosophical knowledge but also to the development of tactics for military bicycle units. His passion for both academia and military strategy was a unique aspect of his personal life that set him apart from his contemporaries. Cook Wilson's interest in military bicycle units led him to publish several works on the subject, demonstrating his commitment to the practical application of knowledge. His contributions to the Army Cyclist Corps, which was formed at his suggestion, showcased his innovative thinking and desire to contribute to his country's defense. Despite his scholarly pursuits and military endeavors, Cook Wilson also found love and companionship in his personal life. He met Charlotte Schneider in Germany, and the two were married in 1876. Their union blessed them with a son named Ralph Wempner Wilson, who, like his father, became a scholar at Balliol College. However, tragedy struck when Charlotte passed away in January 1914, leaving Cook Wilson devastated. As the years went by, Cook Wilson continued to make significant contributions to the academic world and military strategy. However, his life was cut short by pernicious anemia, and he passed away on August 11, 1915, at his home in North Oxford. His untimely death marked the end of an era for philosophy and military tactics, leaving behind a legacy that would inspire future generations.
Cook Wilson's life serves as a reminder that one's personal pursuits can be multifaceted and diverse. His dedication to both philosophy and military strategy showcases the richness of a well-rounded life. His commitment to practical knowledge and his ability to balance different aspects of his life offer valuable lessons for us in our daily lives. Whether it is pursuing our passions, contributing to the greater good, or finding love and companionship, Cook Wilson's story encourages us to embrace all aspects of our lives and find fulfillment in each endeavor. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.